Hi, you've reached Mr. and Mrs. Demers. We can't come to the phone right now because... We just got married. Ryan, I think that should forever be your voicemail. It is so cute. As I am looking at you right now, you have both gone to do shots, as is well due. Thank you so much for having me, and I just wish you both the most happiness in the world. Love, Elizabeth. Rachel and Brian, congratulations. You absolutely got married tonight, and that is a fantastic thing. It's your favorite bridesmaid. Um, to my best friend, I love you so much. This was the most beautiful day. It turned out to be perfect. Your auntie was looking down on you. Everything is so amazing. You are partying up on the dance floor right now. And holy shit. Holy shit, you're fucking married. You're a full housewife. And to Ryan, please take care of my girl. I love her so much. I love you both. Cheers to the demers. Ryan, we may have been young when we met, but the love we've built has blossomed into something extraordinary. We've faced challenges, celebrated victories, and grown alongside each other. Like the trees that have watched over this place for years, our love has deepened with time, its roots intertwined, reaching for the sun together. I remember those goodbyes at my doorstep that used to stretch for what felt like hours, not the 20 minutes everyone teased us about. But maybe that's how you knew, and how I knew, that this connection, this spark, was something special. Looking around this place, with its echoes of laughters and memories from my childhood, feels even more significant. It's as if the love that surrounded me as a child is weaving itself into the fabric of our own love story today. It's a beautiful reminder that some things, like love, have a way of transcending time. And now, we stand ready to face whatever the future holds, hand in hand. There's no greater testament in the strength of our love than the miracle that is our daughter. Looking at her, I see the future we're building together. A future brimming with love, laughter, and the countless adventures waiting to unfold. Hi, sweetie. Hi, princess. You look so beautiful. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, and I have the privilege of being Rachel's maid of honor tonight. He's not gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> you look really good too. They're so beautiful. This is gonna be your best day. I'm so happy for you. You look great. So do you, I love the suspenders. Oh. You and the boys, we all got. Yeah. Can you come give me a hug? So lucky you get to be a part of Mummy's Day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Here we go. I met Rachel in second period gym class on the first day of grade nine. Both Rachel and I walked into that gym not knowing a soul, but 75 minutes later, we walked out together. 
Since that day, Rachel and I have shared so many amazing me times and memories. If you had told me that day that I met Rachel, that I'd be standing here 10 years later as her maid of honor, I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you because I felt then, and still feel now, that for a lack of better words, Rachel is out of my league. She is the most beautiful, smart, caring, and brave woman I've ever known, and I am so honored to stand with her here today. I assure you, Rachel, that I will love you unconditionally and entirely. Through illness or grief, I will support you as your husband and lifelong partner. I will encourage you to be the best version of yourself. I will be faithful to you in good times and bad times. I will cherish you when I'm with you and honor you. I promise to love all of you, the parts that make me feel special, the parts that drive me a bit crazy. Today, I take all of you for exactly who you are and for always. When I am without you, I will wear my ring with pride to symbolize that I am completely devoted to the relationship we have developed. I have never been this certain about forming a decision, but with such an amazing partner, it does not require a lot of thought. My love for you will only grow stronger with time, and it will never wither away. Great. Woo! We did it. When Rachel met Ryan, she told me that he was it. He was her soulmate. Over the last seven years, I've watched their relationship grow and strengthen with every day. I've seen them encourage and support each other unconditionally through all that life has thrown at them. I stand here today able to say confidently that Rachel was right. Ryan is without a doubt her soulmate. And I am so forever thankful that they found each other. The love that the two of you share is so clear, even just from the way that you look at each other. As you know, I have called Rachel my sister for years now. I'm an aunt to Ivy, and Rachel's an aunt to my son. That being said, I want you to know that I couldn't imagine a better husband for my sister, a father to my niece, and a man to call my brother-in-law. Rachel and Ryan, I wish you a lifetime of happiness, and I have no doubt that the two of you will continue to grow and blossom together just as you did before. To Mr. and Mrs. Demers! <laughs>